Also, this is internship in Moscow. So now I have a rice cracker for you. Thank you, my dear. Welcome to a day in the office with Cardine and Sana. So how does a normal day at work look like? We wake up really, really early at 6 o'clock because... We either want to go for a swim, want to go into the forest or go to the gym. After our activity, it's time for some breakfast. Here's a canteen. At 8, we start our day with a meeting with everyone of the Penguin Life office. In a meeting, we discuss what we have to do during the day. That's a lot because currently we are working for a basketball tournament and this is a very big event for us. For a tournament, we need to arrange a lot of things, for example, medical stuff, security, transportation, accreditation badges. But it's not the only project that we work on because there's many other projects. After a long day of school, we're normally pretty tired, but... Today we're going to the Boy Show Theater, which you can see over here behind me. Which is one of the world's biggest theaters. Right now, we are going to catch our flight to St. Petersburg. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the coldest day so far. Where are we, Sona? I'm from What the fuck? on the company where you're gonna apply for. We're going uh, against the direction, by the way. <laughs> Send straight away an email out. And then, yeah, stay on top. Always ask your teachers what the possibilities are to go abroad, because it's different for every school. But for us, in ice and b there was this database where you could see previous internships, and that made it a lot easier. And if your university doesn't allow you to do an internship abroad, you should take a look at the options for, for example, a minor abroad. So if you know what you want, then you can get what you want. Park. Here you can see how important the history was for Russia. It's a huge memorial complex commemorating World War II. 